Hello everybody, it's Miss Pribble, and today I'm going to read a book for you about a little girl who is supposed to be getting ready for bed, but she's a little nervous because she thinks she has a monster in her room, but her granny has a big plan for her. I hope you enjoy this book. It's called Granny's Dragon. Granny's Dragon by Lisa McCork. After exactly three desserts and 12 stories, Granny said, time for bed, let's get ready. Okay, Granny, I said, only I better not go to bed because I'm pretty sure there's a monster in my room. If there's a monster in your room, he'll have to get ready too said Granny sternly. He'll have to put on pajamas. Big scary monsters don't fit in pajamas, Granny. If he tried to put them on, he'd probably rip them all up with his huge hairy arms and legs. I will not let any monsters that huge and hairy sleep in your room. He'll have to go out and sleep in the garage, said Granny. What if the monster come back to my room to eat me after you go? I asked Granny. Lucky for you, I happen to make a stew that is very delicious to monsters. I'll cook some up and leave it right outside your bedroom door. Then the monster will be full and he won't need to eat you. Not even for dessert? Good point, said Granny. I'd better make him a monster dessert, too. Okay, Granny, but even if he doesn't eat me, the monster could still scare me with his big yellow teeth. He'll have to brush his teeth, too. No one goes to bed around here with dirty teeth. He could growl at me or shake his arms in the air and say, Booga, 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 booga. Booga, 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 said Granny in her scariest voice. There, that wasn't so bad, was it? No, but you're not a monster. I'd like to see your monster do a better job. Granny, I said, you have so much to learn about monsters. It's not just that they say scary things. They have special powers. Monsters can even go invisible. So you don't see them, but they're still there waiting to get you. I see, said Granny. Well then, here's what I'll do. I'll whistle for my very large but good-hearted dragon to stay right by your bed at night and protect you. She can go invisible too. And she's way bigger and stronger than any monster. How will I know the dragon is here? How do you know the monster is here? Said Granny. I just think about him and I know. So think about my dragon too. Okay. What is she like? She's powerful, very, very powerful. One look into her swirly green eyes and even the scariest monsters zoom away back to their monster world forever. Why are they so afraid of her? Oh, they think she might growl at them or say, ooga, booga, 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 or eat them. Would she? Nah, she's a vegetarian. She does love my monster stew though, and she'll stay right by my bed all night long, all night long. I took Granny's dragon to my room. Okay, dragon, let's see what you can do. Everything's okay now, Granny. Granny shook her finger at the dragon. Oh no, it's not. Come with me, dragon. That's more like it. 
Good night, sweet girl. Good night, dragon. The end. I hope you enjoyed this fun little book. Have a great day and God bless.